here's a story that's going to get demonetized immediately. <laughs> it's an article I found in uh, revealnews.org. Jehovah's Witnesses double down on scripture used to ignore abuse. So I, I didn't know much about uh, this within the Jehovah's Witnesses, but apparently uh, they, like the good old Catholic Church, the one I was raised in, um, have their own unique way of using the Bible to cover up child sex abuse. So Penn State used football and uh, Joe Paterno's graduation rate, which is offensive to me, and they should have napalmed Penn State. They should get all of Joe Paterno's fans together who still think he didn't do anything wrong by, he knew about Sandusky for 13 years and did nothing. So I'd like all those people that still think Paterno's a good guy to get into Penn State Stadium and they should fucking drone strike it and wipe them out and get rid of the football program. So Catholic Church has been covering that shit up uh, for centuries. They have lawyers within the Catholic Archdiocese because repressed memories come forward and they have literally, if you watch the Netflix show, The Keepers. So they hire lawyers to say, oh, your repressed memories, are that's just a crazy dream. You're making it up. It didn't happen. And people are like, I'm, these memories are coming forward because, and so that's the, those are Penn State and the Catholic Archdiocese. So now we got Jehovah's Witnesses. So I'm sure they're going to troll the uh, comment section. But if you support um, the covering up of pedophiles, by all means, go fuck yourself and you are going to hell. I don't care what religion you believe in. I don't care how many times you say the Hail Marys or whatever thing you think gets you safe. If you protect pedophiles, go fuck yourself from the bottom of my heart. Fuck you and your family and your bullshit cult. Um, uh, leaders of Jehovah's Witnesses instruct elders not to take action against a member of the religion accused of sexual child abuse without a confession of at least two witnesses to the crime. That sounds reasonable, right? They say this is based on scripture, right? Um, they go into the Bible and quote Deuteronomy 19.15, no single witness can convict another for any error or any sin that he may commit. On the testimony of two witnesses or on the testimony of three witnesses, the matter should be established. And they're like, that's our reasoning. It's pretty solid on this. Okay. Most sexual predators do it in private, especially when it's with a child. Um... And the senior officials uh, know that this is the case, and they say that scrapping the policy is enough for discuss discussion. We never change our scriptural position on that subject, said Gary Bro, B R E A U X, a senior official at the religion's global headquarters in New York, known as the Watchtower. Not even going to look at it at all? Kids coming forward, parents wondering what's up, their kids, kids grow up to be adults and then commit suicide because they were molested and you don't want to look at it at all because the scripture said this? Okay. Sounds good. When a Jehovah's Witness commits a serious sin such as child abuse, local leaders can form a judicial committee to determine whether the offender should be kicked out of the congregation. But without a confession or the testimony of two witnesses to corroborate the allegations, the elders are instructed to leave the matter to God's judgment. Okay. But we do live in a country with laws. And you don't get to circumvent those laws because your religion, or you create concocted things to basically bail you out. You're using the Bible to... Um, let pedophiles continue to operate and you're putting more children at risk. Um, the lack of eyewitnesses in most child sexual abuse cases can also be vexing to prosecutors charged with convincing juries that a crime occurred based mostly on a minor's allegation. Still, such cases are filled every day in courts across the country and often result in guilty pleas or convictions. In Jehovah's Witnesses congregations, the burden of proof is so high that some allegations are dismissed even when local leaders suspect they're true.
An investigation by Reveal from the Center for Investigative Reporting found that watchtower policies dating back to at least 1989 direct elders to keep child abuse secret from law enforcement and members of their congregation. In September, a current and former Jehovah's Witness uh, in Canada filed two class action lawsuits against the Watchtower claiming the organization protects sexual predators in its congregations. Does not surprise me at all. If you even hear a whiff of this, wouldn't you be like, oh wow, we got to investigate this. So if you're so quick to cover it up and you're so quick to quote scripture and just say the matter is closed, that tells me you're in on it or at the very least aware of it. How did Sandusky get away with this for 13 years at Penn State University? People were aware of it, probably in on it, and they turned a blind eye. A friend of mine that's a cop that has done um, investigation on internet crimes and child pornography says, I remember when the Sandusky thing first came out and he goes, oh, he was probably getting kids for alumni because he's done investigations that are that awful. So the leaders of Jehovah's Witnesses, at the very least, are aware of this, and that's why they're covering it up. Or even worse, they're probably involved in it. Um, Reveals investigation focused on former Jehovah's Witnesses who claim to have been sexually abused as children by a leader in their rural Oklahoma congregation. According to the documents, other leaders there had suspected Ronald Lewis of sexual misconduct over a period of years in the past. In a letter to headquarters in New York, the leaders explained that because no one had witnessed the abuse and because Lawrence had not confessed that no action would be taken. The matter, they wrote, would be left in Jehovah's hand. Well, then if you're letting pedophiles run free, you should be brought to jail. If you're not, then God's waiting for you when you die. If you believe pedophiles are punished in hell, which I'm sure you do, people that cover it up, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff in the Bible that says that if you see something happen and you let it continue to happen, you're going to hell. And you're not a real Christian. You're not a real person of God if you're letting a child get molested and you do nothing. You won't even investigate it. Even the kid comes forward later as an adult. You don't even want to know. You don't want to investigate it in the slightest. You just, nope, cover it up. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> hey, Graham, how come you're not a Catholic anymore? Hmm. Hey, Graham, how come you don't really watch football anymore? Hmm. If you're a Jehovah's Witness, you might want to ask yourself, is this a religion you really want to be a part of? No, I'm not an atheist. I believe in a higher power. Because a lot of organized religions, I've seen them used to do awful things. Whoa, hence this. The Golden Rule, if you read this book, uh, The World's Religions, one of the things it goes into is that the Golden Rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, that sentiment, not those words uh, ex word for word, exists in every major religion. Why don't you try living that way? And why don't you stop using your religion uh, to manipulate, control, and abuse people and cover up? It's awful. So I thank Real, uh, RealNews.org for running this story, and I hope some other people investigate and bring these people to justice because it's awful. If you harm a child, you're awful. Thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting independent media because I'd love to see this covered on a national level. Go to patreon.com like and subscribe hit the subscribe button and there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you click on that then you'll get notifications every time a new video comes up and you can share these videos i really appreciate it because i'm going to just be keep speaking the truth <clears throat> and they can demonetize me and tell me not to say these things or try to hurt me financially or come at me or whatever but i'll keep saying them and i appreciate you guys for watching because we need a better world. We need a nicer, kinder, better world, not an evil place. We need humans to stop being so evil, greedy, and corrupt and really pull their heads out of their asses and start being better and do the right thing. You're not a hero for doing the right thing. You're only a hero if you put your life on the line to save somebody else's, in my opinion. 
doing the right thing doesn't make you a hero. It just makes you a decent human being. Let's try to just bring more of those to the forefront. <sighs> Thanks for watching.